Hello students, let us solve a problem from NEET EUG paper 221. Here is the problem. The problem states that an electromagnetic wave of wavelength lambda is incident on a photosensitive surface of negligible work function. If m be the mass of the photoelectron emitted from the surface has de Broglie wavelength lambda d, then which among these four options will be the correct one? So look, this problem is actually having two concepts in within it. One is the concept of photoelectric effect and de Broglie's hypothesis or dual nature of the electron. So we will be using de Broglie's hypothesis as well as Einstein's photoelectric equation to solve this problem. So first let us write down the energy of the incident radiation which has wavelength lambda and that can be written from quantum physics to be E is equal to AC by lambda. So energy of incident radiation is AC by lambda. Now the photoelectric equation given by Einstein is written as K max is equal to E minus W where K max is the maximum kinetic energy of emitted photoelectron and E is the energy of the incident radiation and W is the work function. And we have calculated the energy of the incident photon or radiation to be AC by lambda. So I put here. So we get K max is equal to AC by lambda minus W. Now in this problem it is stated that the work function of the photosensitive surface is negligible. Then we can put this W or the work function to be 0 in the equation 2 and hence we get maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron to be AC by lambda. So we write here K is equal to AC by lambda. This is the kinetic energy of the photoelectron emitted from the photosensitive surface. Now we know again that the kinetic energy and linear momentum has a certain relationship that is k is equal to q square by 2m. From there we can find out the linear momentum that is p is equal to under root 2m into k k is the kinetic energy. And see this kinetic energy is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron emitted. And that has been calculated as ac by lambda for this case. So if we put this ac by lambda over here then we get the momentum of the photoelectron to be under root 2m ac by lambda. Now we have got p or linear momentum. Now we can easily find out the de Broglie's wavelength just by plugging this p in de Broglie's hypothesis that is lambda d is equal to h by p where h is the Planck constant. Now upon simplification we will be able to reach this relationship lambda is equal to 2mc by h into lambda d square. Hence the third option will be the correct answer for this problem. Thank you.